Hey LEGO Technique fans and welcome back to another designer workshop on tour. Today we're going to talk about the alternative model of this BMW. And for that I invited my friend Aurelien. Hey, welcome. Man. How are you? So, Aurelien, what are we looking at here? Oh, just here. This is the alternate model of the BMW bike. And together with the BMW we decided to go uh, in the direction of future of mobility. Mm -hmm. And for that we decided to, to build a flying motorcycle. All right. So does this function the same way as a regular motorcycle does? Or? It's actually really close to a motorcycle, yes, because we want to keep the, the same spirit. So mm -hmm. we have the handlebar that will uh, steer the bike yeah. like this. And you can see the, the flaps here yeah. turning while you turn this one. And sideways, I can show you as well, like when you push the bar forward, it yeah. will raise the, the propeller on the back of the bike mm -hmm. and backward. So you accelerate and brake. Okay. And in front, you can see there's a, a wind turbine that right. will suck the air inside and push it down the ground so it will lift and push the bike up. Okay. And you can spin it this way and it will spin as well. The propeller on the back and the turning right. engine in the front, plus the boxer engine that is inside the bike. Yeah. And, and how does it land? Well, it, you can either put it, place it on the stand yeah. or if you don't want to use the stand, you can push down the wings mm -hmm. and here. Open the back leg. All right. And have it it's standing like this. Cool. So you will get off the bike from the ground this way. Yeah. yeah. And to make sure that all of this is actually would actually be possible, you also uh, asked an expert about his opinion, right? Of course, yes. So let's uh, invite Nicholas over, our yes. aviation expert. Hello. Welcome. Hey, welcome. So Nicholas, this is all nice in theory, but would it work? in real life? Well, if we take a look at the model here, I think uh, there's many perspectives that uh, could make it work. We have uh, what could look like wings and work like wings with the aerodynamic form and shape. And uh, we have here what could be like a tailplane to direct the aircraft or the motorcycle in the right direction. Yeah. So in, there's a lot of principles from aviation that is actually working uh, from this model. Mm -hmm. um, the propulsion system could be a problem, but we could go to the board and I can try to explain how this is actually uh, working, how sure. it could work. Yeah. So if we take a look at this uh, model over here, what it does actually is it takes in a lot of air, compress it, push it down to make this lift fall. So, so this machine could actually lift off the ground. Okay. And uh, over here, as you explained, we have this uh, propeller that is actually used for directional control. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go forward, you, you, I understand you push the, head, the handlebars down and, and you make this forward motion. Well, in theory, it's like a hovercraft or a Harrier jump jet. It's the same principle. You have a vent with a compressed air that uh, delivers this uh, lifting force mm -hmm. and then you have this for, for, for control of the forward motion. So actually the principles are, as we know them today, it's an existing technology that is used in a new way so it could actually work. So this could actually be a plausible look into the future, which in my opinion is pretty amazing. So I'd like to thank you guys for coming and this is all for now and see you next time. 